Hey guys, uh, I'm Marty Schindler, and we're going to be creating a time freezing effect to a certain degree. Uh, it's going to look like this, if you want to check it out right here. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, we can do a little better though, but uh, you can see right here is what it's going to look like when it's done, or something to that extent. But uh, for the meantime, let's get rid of all of this. Okay, what you want to have is just an audio and a video track. You know, just the regular standard two tracks there. And make sure you just have a shot of you doing whatever, but uh, you can stop it somewhere and make it look cool. Like, for me, I jumped in the air, and I stopped it mid-frame, and then it uh, continued. So just get a cool shot, and make sure you have good lighting and stuff. Like, I didn't, so I had to increase it with editing, and there you go. Anyhow, uh, my clip was about 20 seconds long, so what you want to do is trim the beginning and ends off a little bit to make it shorter, or depending on what you're doing. So, uh, I'm trimming a lot off, about 15 seconds or so, to right there. So now I have about a uh, 5 second clip, and that's what you're reaching for here. And then just increase your track view so you can see it a little bigger by using this plus zoom in time button uh, on the bottom right. Or using your scroll, uh, depending on what you want to do. So now we have our clip ready to do this. It should look like this, just one solid piece. And what you want to do is find the frame that you want it to stop on. Now, to scroll through individual frames, if you don't know this already, use the arrow keys on your keyboard, and it'll go through them individually. So pick a, uh, a frame, and make sure it's one that's not blurry. Like, see, sometimes when I'm jumping in the air, it's blurry on some parts. So make sure you get a solid one. Uh... I like this one. I think it's the same one as I just showed you earlier, but I'm going to use this one. Now, uh, if you already know how to take a screenshot of the preview window, good for you, but we're not doing that yet. Now, uh, you found your frame, right? Okay, so if you found your frame, click S on the keyboard, and now you just split it right there, and the frame is actually on both sides, I believe. So, uh, just, you, all you have to do is go to the first frame of either clip, and you should be able to take that, uh, and get a screenshot of it, but that's not what we're worrying about right now. Just make sure you have a, you just split it, split it on the frame that you want it to stop on, okay? So it looks like this. Now, uh, once you have it like this, we need to add effects to your video. Make sure you have your effects added before you take the screenshot, and I'll explain this in, a, in a, just a second. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, stick a wide screen on as I always do. It just makes it better, and make sure you put this on both of your clips right here, uh, both parts, not just one. And uh, I need a little color boost here, so I'm gonna stick this in, and it just gives it a, uh, you know, better look overall. So you could spend a while messing with a. Uh, color here, but I don't want to take too long, so that's good, and then uh, if you uh, messed with the effects and you want to add this exact one, this exact effect to that other clip, just save the preset as another thing, like a color corrector uh, time stop, and uh, just, you can save that preset click save, it's right here drag it in over here we have the exact same thing, just so it doesn't look like a big difference. Now, uh, notice how I have my preview quality on best full, partly because my computer can handle it, but uh, also because you need it on that. The reason is, when you render your video, it's it renders at best full automatically, usually, and it should be on that. So you want to set your preview quality to whatever your rendering quality is. Uh, and the reason for that is, if we put it on best quarter, it looks a lot blurrier, uh, then the screenshot is going to come out. So what I mean by that is your screenshot's going to look blurry in your final video if it's blurry in the preview window. So put it at best full, find that frame, which should be the first of uh, either of those parts right there. I found mine. I'm going to click this button, which says 
save snapshot to file above your preview window. That's to take a screenshot of your uh, preview uh, frame right there, previewed frame. Uh, I'm going to save it as a time stop photo and, you know, just click enter. Then it should appear in your project media down here in that tab. Then scoot the clips aside, bring that photo in, and then adjust the size. And the size is going to depend on how long um, that freezes up in the air. And you don't want it too long, but uh, you, you want it however, uh, however it fits in your video. Then it should look like this once you fit it. Uh, so whoops, that means you have a clip, the time stop, and then the other clip. So let's play that. I'm going to play it at uh, best quarter just so I can see it here a little better. And you can see the widescreen is a little bit uh, messed up there, but uh, it's not the end of the world. You can mess around with your effects and uh, screenshot methods. Anyhow, once you have it looking like that, uh, you're pretty much done. So, uh, I mean, you can add a bunch of other little effects. Like, I'm going to add a sound effect here, and it's basically... I have this explosion sound effect I found. And uh, what I did is I reversed it, so it sounds like it's like exploding backwards. And the reason for that is it sounds as if uh, time is about to stop. And uh, you saw that when I showed you at the beginning. Now if I play it, and then time stops, and then it continues. So, uh, you know, just the use of sound effects and what you can do with them. I simply reversed it and compressed it to make it uh, a higher-pitched sound. And uh, that can be very useful when you're doing... Uh, videos like these if you need weird sound effects uh, you can simply just mess around with already made sound effects and stuff like that so uh, that's pretty much all there is to it now you can see where this is leading to if you're thinking about uh, time freezing where you can walk behind that frozen thing now this is not a like that uh, After Effects, Adobe After Effects is a lot easier to work with that uh, you can do it in Vegas not the best I've seen what you would have to do is go into uh, Photoshop, it'd be a lot easier, that is, and uh, just Photoshop your uh, frozen guy out, and uh, then you would be able to walk around him. But, see, that sounds complicated, so uh, I'm not going to try to confuse your brains today, but uh, that's what we just made, a time stop, you know. Remember, uh, just to sum up this lesson here, uh, you had one frame, you clipped it where... Uh, you wanted the time stop to be then we added effects because we don't want uh, the picture the frozen part and the clips different looking then we took a screenshot with this safe snapshot to file button then we stuck it between these two clips uh, and we got two clips because we split it at the frame part remember that and then we added a sound effect so uh, yeah pretty simple guys uh, I hope you like this one I might make it might be a high quality tutorial on this other website so if it is you'll see a link in the description uh, I hope you like this tutorial uh, more to come so stay tuned uh, I'm Marty Schindler and thanks for clicking on this Sony Vegas tutorial